dangerous moment for New Zealand early on. Perifet, I'm sure, looking to find touch here. He won't, though. And first touch for Jacob Stockdale. This is Hugo Keenan. Going to have a run, the winger. Lovely little step of his left foot. And he's dragged down just before the 10 metre line. Ireland with the advantage here. New Zealand going off their feet. They go back for the penalty. Good start by Ireland. Connacht, the story of uh, Irish rugby really this season and fairly represented as well in this Irish under 20s team, which is good to see. Ireland getting up to try and steal and they've managed to roll it. That's brilliant. James Ryan, the captain, with the last touch to take it into contact. And here's Max Deegan, the big number eight, man of the match against Wales. And Makes a couple of metres there. Johnston looking to release the back line. It'll show there from Conor O'Brien. And brings play up to the 10 metre line. New Zealand having to... Well, it's all defence at the moment, isn't it? Thank you, let's... Taken in by Gallagher. Andrew Porter. One of the stars of that opening game against Wales. He loves to carry that ball. The loose head for Ireland. Back with Johnston. Now, high ball to test out. Jordan Trainer. He didn't play the opening game against Georgia. Well, he's very comfortable there. A little chip from him over the top. Back there goes Byrne. Takes the ball. Exactly, uh, tropics down there, is it? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> Johnson restart. Again, gives uh, the Irish plenty of chances to get up there. And Hugo Keenan uses his pace to break into the 22. Keenan is dragged down. Ireland support arrives in numbers. Gallagher's there trying to recycle possession. Cairns to dig it out. Well, where is that ball? New Zealand do just enough. On the ball. Two's in. Try yeah, saver. Try saver for sure. And Ireland now. Five metre scrum. New Zealand. Boys. Well, they had an 8 kg advantage against Georgia. You can see they are heavier by six kilos a man here against Ireland. Is that going to be a factor in the scrum? Ireland trying to lock it out. A little bit awkward at the back. Max Deegan controls and gets a penalty. Won't leave in the contest to Brown. Well, what do you do here? I mean, it's very kickable. One. Yeah, I know, I know most captains I know in this part of the world will point straight to the post, but yeah, you know, that, that's a big moment for Ireland, and I'm sure that's an area that they've targeted. They're going for something pretty similar here and test New Zealand again in the close quarter. Well, the line out was far from perfect against Wales for Ireland. Adam McBurney, I'm sure an area that they wanted to improve they got plenty of height there oh. but again the throw over the top and New Zealand cough up possession well you can see that slippy ball is uh, having an impact for both teams Daly in to protect there Ben Betts to act as scrum half here carries it the tight head still inside the New Zealand 22 better play from Ireland this is Greg Jones Cairns under pressure Deegan Tackled by Kautai. Cairns once more. Gallagher got bets on his shoulder. Good strong carry from the Irish lock forward. Options already lining up the left hand side for Cairns. Johnston calling for it. Got the backs outside him. Ball in behind to Matthew Byrne. And it's good recycling by Ireland. Patient build up here. Ben Betts again. Another carry from the young monster tidehead. Cairns to the captain James Ryan. Ryan, nice presentation as well from McBurney. Carries it into contact. Good stuff from Ireland. Can they get points on the board though? Aspel from St. Mary's in Dublin. Options on the right hand side. Ryan once more. James Ryan runs straight tackle. into the tackle. New Zealand comes through and they did so illegally. They get the penalty Ireland in front of the post here and the referee. You just throw the knife on the floor. It's a couple of infringements by New Zealand. We'll play the ball, not the yeah, look, they, they've really, Ireland have really asked some questions there. I'm sure he'd love to use this one again. So much pace in that New Zealand back line. Again, ball over the top, a couple of line outs malfunctioning for both teams now. Deegan dives on the ball, so does James Ryan, and it's the captain for Ireland who secures possession. Johnson, they're looking to move this inside their own 22. But what about this for ambition from Ireland? Daly. Not afraid to keep that ball in hand. That's the philosophy of Nigel Carroll, the head coach. Tackle. Allows his team the license to play. Cairns tries to find a gap around the fringe. Gallagher into contact, support from the second row partner. And Ireland go from all the way from their own line outside the 22. Good play. Wait, six. And Johnson decides to put boot to ball. Jordan Trainer. Plenty of for Ireland. Jimmy O'Brien, so no stranger to the setup here. Just hold that two meters, Captain. Thank you. 
Oh, Vincent are point to throw. It's important Ireland win the line out. It's exactly what James Ryan does, and they try and set them all here. Have they got a weak spot in that New Zealand defence? Ireland keeping possession tight. Almost up the line. Ireland are in. What a driving ball, and what a response from the Irish pack. Well, we talked about the Irish set piece, and that would be important try at a crucial stage. They are back to 15 men. Adam McBurney back on the pitch. So too is David Aspel who had to go off. And that ball a little bit loose. It came back into the hands of Andy Porter. And it went backwards, says the referee. Cairns looking to protect it. He's setting himself for a box kick here. Plenty of height on this one. It's going to drop just outside the 22. Awkward one to deal with, but in fairness to Chewy Tam, he kept his eye on the ball. Yeah, probably a bit, bit long on that kick. Didn't really allow any contest on middle of that, yeah. So McBurney to throw right on that halfway line. Thank you, mate. Connor O'Brien, by the way, looks okay to come back in. So the next break in play, you feel he will. Get a switch with Max Deegan. Number eight takes it as far as the halfway line. Kearns goes blind. Ball in behind to Stockdale. Stepped off his left foot. Still going. And trying to break the tackle of Appiesai. Did well there, Jacob Stockdale. Big, powerful runner from fullback. And Ireland have advantage here. Deegan once more carries and supported by James Ryan. Cairns trying to dig one out. Aspel, ball in behind to Johnston. Where's this going to bounce? All the way into touch. We're going to go back for the penalty though. No advantage coming. And I wonder, is this within range for the Irish fly half? Just had to get stitched up over the eye. Connor O'Brien, so obviously okay to continue that one. Was it straight? It was as a referee. And Ireland set that mall again. And try and put pressure on New Zealand's defence up front. At the back with McBurney. This is great play by the Irish pack. They've made five metres already. Nine, one! And they're trying to go again. karen has been told if they don't use it here. That's McBurney who breaks through. Adam McBurney for the line. Yes. Ireland are over again. And it's a second try. Adam McBurney from Palomina and Ulster touches down. And Ireland are in front against New Zealand. Scrum. And there for knock. Switches the play. TJ Va ball in behind two Barrett's. He's trying to find a gap, gets the offload away to Itama, already has a try to his name. And happy to just hit the ground there, back for TJ Va, looping pass on the outside. This is Luke Jacobson, trying to shrug off the tensions of the Irish defence, Ireland told to leave it. Knock once more, Va with a little step, any room for him to move, Gallagher puts him down. And they advance to the Irish 10 metre line. Kotai. Knock. Barrett. Don't make the pass. Back inside to Stevenson and then threw it to the Irish defender. Which means turnover ball. Here's James Ryan trying the handoff. Tackled by Mick Ailey too. And there for Kearns. To Porter. Andrew Porter. Look at the strength of Andy Porter. Kearns again. Looking for McPhillips. Launches the Gary O. Shane Daly's after this one. Daly to contest. Was that tackle in the air? Referee. Has let the whistle go. Good to see Calvin Brown get a run out. As I mentioned, his family are all shining. And Munster went to Art School Reach as well. And he's a big unit, he's a powerful carrier as well. Good scrum from Ireland. Really good scrum from Ireland. And they get the penalty as well. Fist pumps all around and the backs can only clap and applaud as the pack demolished the New Zealand scrum. Yeah, my view closed the gap to take half the step out, both you. Short line of call from New Zealand, but the big ball carriers in. Makaele too, standing at first receiver, I'm sure, just going to try and relieve some pressure. Territory, but Ireland get up and steal it. What a time to do that. Taken in by Finn O'Brien. Pick and go. A score here would be massive. Brown, the Shannon back row forward carries, again, Vincent O'Brien back on his feet to try and make more yards around the fringe there, New Zealand all defence at the moment, Jimmy O'Brien carries, and back for Kearns, Gallagher, support from Greg Jones, and patience needed now by Ireland, defence needed by New Zealand, got to make the tackles here, Ireland, James Ryan struggles to hold on to it, but he just about managed it. Deegan, in fact. Porter with another strong carry. Ireland's loose head prop has been brilliant today. Kearns goes right. 
Chance here, McPhillips. Little show from him. Tackle goes in from Quentin Strange. Ireland hammering at the New Zealand defence. Kelvin Brown again. Kearns to Gallagher. Support from Jones. A try here. Will be massive. New Zealand desperate defending. Ireland, important not to panic. Long ball on the outside, Stockdale. Jacob Stockdale steps back inside. Still on his feet and eventually ball to ground. New Zealand trying to keep Ireland out. Another onslaught. Abdelante, the Georgian, playing in an Irish jersey. Where's that ball? New Zealand trying to rob it. Brown for the line. Kelvin Brown, is he down? I think he's just held up. He is just held up. Wow. 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 The Jordan Barrett, I think, saving New Zealand there again on two or three occasions in that set. But the Irish are really... The pressure on... How much have they got left in the tank, though? Big call to go for this scrum again. Ireland trying to go forward. New Zealand trying to hold him out, ball at the back. Deegan has to pick up the back, and Max Deegan is down! Ireland has scored again! Max Deegan from Lansdale at St. Michael's College. When is that the try? That was 2008, and last year, in the pool stage, New Zealand won 25 points to three. This has been an inspirational performance by Ireland, though. They've torn up the history book. They probably didn't even read it, because they've attacked New Zealand at every single opportunity. And another big scrum here. If they get a penalty, it's straight in front of the post, don't forget. Control at the back from Deegan. He did really well. And Ireland get the penalty. But surely, if this goes over, it will mean victory. Yeah, Look John, what it means to the players. Jonathan Tamatane, a little bit keen there. You don't blame him for eating up every single second. And is that the kick that's going to make sure of a famous Irish victory? Tony, I'll ask you for your man of the match, please. Well, plenty to choose from. I've been really impressed with that.